What it do, y'all? It's Drew Blue here. Just to chop it up with y'all for a minute. Um, I had a lot to think about, man. I had a lot on my mind. That's why I had to take a break from recording for a good minute. Um, just a lot, of, a lot of things in life in general I had to think about and kind of sort out, if you know what I mean. Uh, but I'm all good. You know, everything's green, so I'm still going. That's all that matters. Even when you get knocked down on life, you gotta find the strength to get back up over and over again. You know, it's a, it's just an endless loop of cycle, man, of life. So, um, what I want to get at is, how can I put it? Just kind of like my whole perspective of life. You feel me? I always believe that you should always try again and try again. You know, until you're successful, you know, kind of like that persistence to just do it right. That's kind of like something that I've always had. You could say it's a pet peeve, maybe, but uh, I don't know. I felt like it was going to lead me to a uh, I actually and I still do believe that it's going to lead me to a greater purpose in life one day. Uh, you know, until that day comes, all I can do is pretty much stay on a down low ground zero, keep up with my training. You know, make sure that higher learning is what I'm maintaining. Um, but what I'm trying to get at is, you know, I've been thinking, man. I've, I've done a lot of YouTube videos. A lot of videos where I just give everything what I feel, like 100% keep it real. You know, and obviously I'm prepared for when the days come and I have to face that person who I may have criticized or whatever I may have criticized in terms of I guess genre music whatever and deal with the people in their face and I'm gonna be more than prepared for that but I also wanted to um, experiment on how well I could really convey my voice and how well my message holds water you feel me so a lot of times I go and revisit my old videos to see do I feel like I'm making sense to myself do I feel like my words are really conveying what I feel you know, because I read comments and I try to understand why they think like that in terms of people who just talk shit. But then there's also people who agree with me. But at the same time, I'm always looking at both ways. I'm looking at the haters and the ones that support me. And I'm looking at how am I really conveying my message? Am I really being, you know, unbiased or am I at least being constructive with my criticism? And yeah, at times, when it's a spur of the moment, I'm going to just be like, man, what the hell is he doing? And people might be like, oh, he's hating or some shit like that. But when I do that, it's and usually the, the artists that I cover in my videos are artists that I truly respect their craft, all the work that they put in. You're hearing one of them that I've already covered. Um, but yeah, that's one thing I've always been about. It's just keeping it on it and just really when I've heard what you've done. That sets the tone for future records and how you really hit me with that. You know, I don't really care how long it takes you to make it. I don't care how long it is as in terms of, you know, play time. As long as it's something that hits me. It could be the same thing. Like, Tiller could make a trap salt too, which honestly is not a bad idea. And boom, hit the same way that the first one did. I'm good with that, you know, or do something different where like I was telling you I feel like Trap Soul is a winter theme album he goes and drops um what's it called True to Self which I felt like it was a summer anthem type of record and while it wasn't the best old overall, overall record I still fucked with it from beginning to end and I'm telling you right now I've been playing a lot of his uh, his leaks that came around that era like Honey well I wouldn't say leaks because they were kind of released singles but like Honey Man, that song is so fucking good. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. Um, songs like that, Bad Timing, I'm playing right now. Um, what you gonna call it? The other song that I, that I digged. I forgot what it's called. Um, she Don't Want It or something like that. Songs like that, I'm like, man, this is some vintage Tiller stuff that honestly is hundred times better than the stuff that he's releasing you know industry wise and I get it sometimes artists and I've been and I'm in that same thing mentality too where as an artist 
you want to protect your crop. You, if it's a process, you know, if it's not ready, you don't want to release it while it's still green. You want to wait while it's ripe and it's going to hit the way it does. And at the same time, with that on one hand, on the other, you got to worry about, okay, how am I looking financially? Like, am I good? Do I need to drop something to keep, you know, the record executives off my back? Do I got to make sure that, okay, that I got something to keep the fans going over so that way they don't lose interest in me? All this type of shit. Believe me, I get it. I have all this, all all of this in consideration when I do my criticism. And I always say, in spite of that, I still believe, stand for what you're doing. And even if it's not looking like it's working with that record company, there's always a greater purpose for you to do something. That means that's a time where, okay, let me go and do something different so that way I can still maintain myself, my soul. Because that's one thing y'all, a lot of y'all don't get. You just listen to the songs. But you don't realize music is a way to express yourself. It's an art. You know, that's why they call themselves artists for a reason. And when you call yourself an artist, you better be fucking an artist. You know what I mean? Don't lack creativity. Don't play copycat because ain't no one going to buy that shit. That's what they call piracy. If, you, if a painter try to copy a Michael, uh, Michelangelo art or whatever and try to claim that it's his, boom, copyright. And obviously music has that too. But I'm still saying, despite that, I'm saying just maintain your creativity when you insert it yourself. What sounds do you fuck with? You know what? What inspiration did you got from the past? All these, all these things are small elements that make you who you are. But once you stop bringing that part of yourself out, and you kind of like limit how much you really put yourself into it, that's when you really sell yourself out as an artist. So yeah, I've called many artists in the past: Travis Scott, Tory Lanez. I mean, Drake has always been a mainstream motherfucker. So day one, I've called out Tilla on that most recent anniversary record. That song with Drake was trash. You know, I've called all I called them all. I'm like, man, you sold out on that shit. J. Cole sold out on off season. And to me, it's not even the fact that um like like I was saying earlier, it's not the fact that they can't do it. It's like there there's something that's preventing them from doing it and they're allowing that to happen. And to me, it's just when you have that many that much resource, not to mention mentality. The, the amount of social people that you got it's like you got an abundant amount of resource we should not be making excuses for these artists in fact we should be discouraging them from trying to hop on to the mainstream vibe stop that do you and stay true to you don't be taking whatever type beat is hot out there even though if you ask me it's the lamest shit i've heard for the past three four years with that 808 kick fucking clap pattern it's like can you not be any more generic than that but my point is it's like don't fucking be trying to do what they do so that way you can get your money level flowing. Like, no, stick true to you. And if it's not working, find another way out. Tori was talking about doing a, uh, I forgot what they call the terminology, a seminar about how to be an independent artist. But it's like, nigga, they've already had this check down before you. You know, I mean, you don't have to even look no further than Nipsey Hussle, you know. God bless his soul, passed away in 2019. But uh, he kept it independent until he got Atlantic Records to meet him on his um, terms in a deal. So it's like, you're worried about helping other people uh, protect their art and protect their stuff, but you haven't taken care of yourself first. And that's the problem right there. And I think Tori can be clueless sometimes, man. He doesn't really get it. Like, you're so quick to help out others, but not so quick to look at yourself and look at your overall body and concept and really paint yourself right. So I've made these videos for like three, four years. And look, I already considered that just wait out the storm. He might figure out that it's not worth doing this. He'll go back to his fucking music, you know, back to really expressing himself. Uh, that's what I was thinking. But at the same time, I had to still try option A first above all else. And let me speak. Let me see if my voice can make a difference. Let me see if how it transfers over, you know. So that's what I was thinking um, when I made all these videos. And I'm still 100% on everything I said. You know what I mean? Like, Tory really stooped down his level of really exerting his creativity. And I don't have to say it to you. He said it himself. But in spite of that, 
admitting to that. He still hasn't done shit to fucking change that. And don't give me that 80s record bullshit, all right? We all know this nigga that do not ha- give a fuck about any type of 80s record for like the past five or six years until the weekend started making that shit become relevant again in 2017-ish, you know what I mean? Um, dude was on another level. And I'm not going to say that him hopping on the 80s music is a bad idea. I'm just saying he can do a lot better. In fact, his idea of meshing genres together was just a fucking genius idea on his own. And there was maybe one or two artists that I've seen attempt to try that. You know, Elijah Blake, Johnny Rain. Johnny Rain's probably the biggest name out of everyone that's really been on that experimental shit on mixing different types of sounds together. And he's fucking good. I should recommend you on, on him. Elijah Blake as well. But Tori, out of everybody that tried to mix genres together, was obviously the most commercially successful one. And to me, that's a big fucking deal. And I, that's something I think he forgot. His blueprint, his drive, his passion, and his dream got to where he ended up dropping his debut album. But that's where he stopped working. And I, he just fucking started just like his like, instead of going straight up like this, he kind of like, now he's kind of going like this, you know? And now I feel like ever since Love Me Now, he's kind of been going like this on on a decline. And obviously that Meg situation didn't happen, you know, but God got his back. And at the end of the day, God is going to have the truth. And that's all that matters. You know, obviously you feel bad for all parties involved, but at the same time, it is what it is. It's a situation that uh, did cause him a little bit of a hindrance. And he had, uh, he ended up releasing that on. Uh, that Daystar album to clarify all that details and shit. But sometimes you gotta understand this. And sometimes ignorant folks don't get it until they see what you're really about. I've seen that where people confuse me for who I am and then they see my older videos. They're like, oh, you were day one. You've been listening to this dude since he was first making mixtapes. Yeah, yeah, that's cool and all. But just like how I heard Tupac said in an interview, like, you know. If you're going if you gonna show me love, show me love for what I'm trying to speak on, for what I'm trying to do. Don't, you know, that's the whole bigger point is like, if you can't see what I'm coming from, ask, don't assume. Um, and secondly, before I get sidetracked heavy, fucking a. Um, damn, I lost my fucking train of thought. Just to get back to what I'm gonna say. I just believe that hold on hold on when you when when some of these folks are ignorant they don't really take the time to really um, understand that you could really learn about an artist if you really listen to their music if you listen to their lyrics if you listen to where they're coming from you can kind of feel that that pain that relatableness you know but obviously if they're real about it it's going to stick and obviously with Tori, I've never felt really anything that was false or anything that was fraudulent. I felt like everything he spoke, you know, obviously he had his like creative ideas when he did with conflicts, you know, but so brilliant idea, by the way. But, um, you know, other records like Lost Cause, when he went deep about his background story about him having lived the life that he did, those are real stories. And obviously I didn't like the fact that he had to play recycle, you know, on New Toronto 3 and try to like recap all that shit again when it's already been said and done there's no need to rehash that idea um yeah he's gone through it and I believe that this man is gonna speak what he feels and he's genuine about it and he's kind of reciprocated that to whoever wants to talk with him on happiness slash tell me off of memories I believe that 100% that's what you gotta do if you're gonna approach someone that you want to know you are trustworthy and loyal. And like, I feel like that's important. Those are key components that I think anyone should have with one another. Even if something you don't want to hear, sometimes it's things that things that you need to hear. Like you call out someone's bullshit, you know, and not just say, be a yes man in front of your face or, you know, shut down somebody because they disagree with your point or whatever. So I think that's the biggest thing. And I think, I don't, this is just me speculating 
But I think he's got a lot of yes men in his fucking group. I think he's got one too many. Not enough real ones because if that was the case, I mean, someone had to tell him that, hey, you got to quit this fucking shit and get back to your fucking grind. And maybe for him, he probably lost his passion for the dream, you know, to be, to do what he wanted to say on the intro if I told you to be the greatest artist in the world. So, look, just take all this with a grain of salt. I'm just kind of like re recapping my thoughts and all that in the past. But one thing I want y'all to take going forward is that we should never like give up and trying to speak what we believe in or whatever. Even if that means you got to stay on alone, and stay quiet, it's okay to take a step back and think to yourself and figure things out. Um, and I think that's the biggest key component going forward in life, man, is that you don't lose track of what you're supposed to be doing. And no matter what, you're always making progress, whether you're moving fast or you're moving slow. As long as you're moving, that's the most important thing above all else. You know, I'm sorry that my video is a bit too long, but man, like I said, I had a lot on my mind, so I had to kind of get this all out as quick as I could, and yeah, it's raw, uncut. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some things that I've left out that when I rewatch this video, I'm going to be like, damn, I wish I would have mentioned that or something, you know, but it was cool. I'm just, I'm better when I'm speaking to people in the flesh than when I am speaking in front of a camera because it just doesn't feel genuine. It feels like I'm just talking to a camera and I kind of feel weird. <laughs> I don't know. That ain't my thing. That ain't my vibe. So, like I said, I, I'm just not a really big fan, like, of all this shit right here. Like, I'll just move on with life and just kind of, like, live it. That's just the type of guy I am. I'm not about... Pulling my phone, all this and that, like, no. Let me just live life, and I appreciate the moments that God has given me. And just, you know, look out, enjoy the scenery. Men made materials mixed alongside, you know, God made materials. You know, and that's another thing I'm gonna tell all y'all youngins don't take God so lightly. Stop calling yourselves gods. You ain't gods, alright? You're a fucking human being, you're immortal. That's one thing I just got to get that off my chest real quick. That shit be pissing me off. Stop calling yourself gods. I don't give a fuck if you're joking. With Stop. There's so many other things you can joke around with. Don't do not do that. Don't do that. You know? Don't mess with the deity's name, man. The lone deity, should I say. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I hope y'all are doing all right. You know? Y'all doing okay. And, yeah. So, here's the thing. My mentality right now is just kind of like let things pass there's a lot of negativity i feel like going around with today's world in terms of media sports music just things i'm seeing that just seems so shady seems wrong like it's worse than what it was before and i'm telling you as i'm visiting old records that i used to listen by guys like i'm listening to, i was just listening to rodeo days before rodeo by Travis. i'm like man this dude was so fucking good back then why why is he so watered down now why is he so monotone and like I said, don't get me started on tour. I did one too many videos on him. <laughs> and Tilla, come on, Tilla. He had to actually include that type of beat once or twice, especially with that Drake song. That shit was so garbage. And everyone, I saw that some people who reacted, they all felt the same way I did in terms of songs that needed to have more. Like uh, the interlude, Timeless Interlude, obviously he's a, he's a king of interludes. No one really does it as good as he does. Um... Actually, I want to top him on that. <laughs> but, um, what's it called? You know, just songs, sorrows. Yeah. Songs that really hit the soul and really convey his spirit. You know what I mean? And sometimes you can feel that with an instrument or a beat. So when you see these guys that make beats, like type beats, most of the time they're inaccurate because they're just making something that sounds hot. And they're like, oh, I want him to hop on this. But that really envisioning what the artist really wants to do for the most part. I don't know. I feel like tight beats are so inaccurate. Highly inaccurate at times. You know? Except nowadays, it's like everyone's using the same fucking beat. So you might as well say a tight beat and that would work. <laughs> That's just the reality of things. Even though I don't like it, it is what it is. You know? I'm not. A, it's not like I'm denying that it, it is what it is. Like, hip-hop. Hip-hop. I was going to say humanity, but 
That's too deep. Uh, hip hop has really just. Well, you could say humanity too when you think of Putin and what the fuck he's doing. All for the glory and the power. That's really all it is. The man could talk about. Oh, it used to be part of the USSR during before the Cold War or whatever. Uh, how like they had much more protection to their city because Moscow is super to the like it's really close it's closer to uh, Europe than it is in Asia. Really, it's like basically borderline right there. So for them, for him, he wants to protect Moscow as best as possible. If that means having more land in front of him, like recapturing Ukraine, who knows? He might actually go for Poland next. <laughs> It's like, you haven't learned from the fucking Germans, have you? You know, I thank God that we're not going to deal with that shit. I mean, I don't think they're... I don't want to see that shit, man. Fuck that. Fuck that. God, that was evil, man. But, um... You know, it's just a lot of stupid shit, man. Like, we just got to smarten up. We all, we all got to smarten up, tighten up. And keep our head up, man. While we stay on the low. Trying to take our time to focus and grow that's it for me I hope y'all have a blessed day and evening I don't know what time it is where you're watching at but I wish you the best of life and keep doing what you're doing and until then or until the next time it's your boy Drew Blue signing out stay safe and stay blessed y'all deuces